Hey friends and fellow crafters, welcome to The Craft, DM Scotty here. Today I have a cool one for you. It's a utility vid, okay? You know I do crafts that affect the table. They're not just terrain videos, but I do, I do videos that enhance the game experience, right? And I think this one will really do it for you. And I'm calling this a blind roll box, okay? So if you're curious about what that means and how it could enhance your play at the table, check it out. I'll show you how, to, how easy and cheap it is to make these. So you may ask, what is this esoteric thing you speak of, DM Scotty, this blind roll box? Well, let me tell you, uh, it's an idea I had that I thought would be really cool to solve a problem at the table. Okay, the problem is players rolling things that they shouldn't see the result of. Okay, so if they want to search for traps, say, and they roll their perception, right, they see it, okay. Now, you could roll, there's ways to solve this. You could roll it for them, or they could roll it early in the game and give you the, whatever. There are different ways, but none of them are that satisfactory, right? Because I don't like to roll for the players. But I don't, there are certain roles you may not want the players to see, right? So that's where the blind roll box comes in, right? You give them the box, they put their die in it, close the lid, then they shake it up and gently hand it to you, right? You take it, look at it, and you see what the roll is, and they don't know what it is. So I think this is a super cool idea, great to use at the table, very atmospheric and fun, because the player still gets to roll their dice, they just don't see the result. So let's hit the table, I'll show you what it looks like first, and then we'll go to our crafting table and then we'll craft it. And they look great, but they're really not that super expensive, they're very minimal cost, with the but with a great look. So let's hit our table and we'll show you we'll show you what they look like and show you how to craft them. So here they are, fellow DMs, the blind roll boxes. Really cool. Uh, look at all that detail, really nice. It looks really intimidating to make these, but they're actually super simple and fantastic. So I did them a few different color browns too. So they're, they're, uh, they're different colors a bit. You can see one's a lighter brown, one's kind of a darker brown or an older looking brown. So very cool. So here's one, let's see how it might work. Okay, so your player has a roll to make a roll. They roll the die or they put the die in the box, right? They close it, shake it up. Then they pass it off to you, the dungeon master. All right, you, the dungeon master, take the box and open it up and you can see what their role was without them knowing. You just close it back up and you know the answer to the role but they don't. So first off I got these boxes at Hobby Lobby. They are $1.99 so very cheap. The best way to get these is online because they may not have them at the store all the time. So the next thing I got were these swords and you can get these on eBay and just look up this particular uh, you know sword on eBay from the card here. And then I also got these uh, uh, cabochon uh, dragon eyes so you, they have a lot of different ones on eBay you can find all different kinds so very cool you can make your own colors so now I have the box I'm just gonna paint it up I'm just using a brown acrylic paint like a medium brown acrylic paint and you can really use whatever brown you want and I'm kinda using a lot of water on this I'm not really trying to paint it solid right I like that variation in color on it it gives it some interest. If you just goop it on there, it'll just be a, a total one shade of brown. You don't really want that. So there we go. So you can see it's very wet. It even dripped inside there. So very cool. And while it's still wet, use a darker brown, like a chocolate brown or a burnt uh, umber, and kind of dry brush on the surface, and it'll give you some nice kind of variation uh, look like wood grain variation as well as you know make it aged make it a bit aged so and I'm just doing this while it's still wet so it blends in nicely and when you do the inside be careful because you'll kind of bang against the edges so you want to smooth that out uh, the water it's already wet so that'll help you do that 
Nice, so it couldn't be easier. We'll just let that dry and be ready for the next step. Okay, now I'm gonna spray paint it with a uh, satin clear, uh, you know, and let that dry. And that's all there is to that step. Now here I've got one of the cabochons and it's just a, a glass over a pendant, right? And they've got some cool artwork on there. And I'm gonna use a wire cutter and cut the, uh, the ring off the top. Pew, there it goes flying. <laughs> and just cutting the excess off. Oh, pew, oh, he come back here. And uh, just cutting the excess off, be careful. And uh, there you go. Nice. So now you have your eye for the box. Like I said, they have all different kinds of eyes you can get. Now I'm going to use goop, which is great for different materials, like metal to wood. Put that on there. And then the swords. I'll just kind of put those on the sides. And like I said, goop is perfect, or E6000. And you can kind of move it around a little bit. Get it how you want it. There we go. Cool. If there's any excess, you can just get it off with a toothpick, you know, from your moving around. You don't want to move around too much, but you can shift a little bit. Then I got these cool gems. And I'm going to put the gem on the front of the box there. So very cool. Now they're ready for our table. So awesome. I love these. Ooh, Roddy, what's this strange box? I don't know, my dear Hilga. Let's check it out. Let's go around to the front. Okay. <laughs> Aha, I, DM Scotty, put Hilga into the box. Ha 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 ha. What are you doing, DM Scotty? Nobody puts me Hilga in the box. Arr, I attack the box. Arr, arr, attack it. Arr, arr, let her out. Let me Hilga out. Arr.